Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Reckoning Layers of the Mark, and when last we left our pirate heroes, I was having a tough time deciding which of my crew members was I going to upgrade. Do I upgrade the gunner so I can go, uh, you know, start shooting some stuff up? Do I upgrade the bosun so I can get that much quicker to upgrading my ship? I don't think so. I think I'm going to upgrade the lowly deckhand. The lowly deckhand is going from level 1 to level 2. Because I need those sails. Now, if I upgrade later to level 3, I'll have double sails, which is very cool too. But here's the deal, folks. I had a problem. I am stranded out here, um, you know, lost at sea almost. And because I do not want to throw away this moon salt that I found... Um, that means I have access to only one sail. I can only move one step unless I literally throw this overboard, which I am not going to do. The deckhand means now I've got access to two sails and I am going to use those. So let's go on ahead. For, uh, remember, I can do a whole bunch of stuff. First of all, I'm just going to play all my cards. They're all available to me. And um, then I am going to set sail. I have access to one sail plus this means I have two. And that also means I'll mark this, that I cannot... This is an or, it's not an and, so because I've done this, I cannot exert influence. My deckhand is pretty much exhaustimicated. Then, now I've got two opportunities to sail. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to sail back home. Boom! I've come back to port. And why have I done that? Because I'm going to have my bosun and my gunner generate two more cargo, but it's the it can only be generated at port. So I generated them at port. Alrighty. And um, now I've got my purser. My purser would let me start, um, uh, what do you call it, producing on an island. I could play this right now and I could pick any island that's known. This one, this one, or this one. This would produce two, uh, two cargo on the island, which could only be grabbed by whoever controls the island, which is nobody. Uh, this one, produces one cargo and two coins because it's next to open sea, remember? And this one produces one coin. Now, I'm not going to do any of that right yet because I don't control any of these islands, but I do have a cunning plan. So we'll come back to the purser later. So what am I going to do? Um, I'll tell you, I'm going to curry the favor of the nation of United Avaria, which means I'm going to give them this sweet, sweet moon salt. I'm giving up the opportunity to repair damage or do more uh, damage in battle. Don't worry, folks. We'll engage in battle eventually, but I want to get in good with them. So every time you give them what they want, and remember, they want the, uh, the, the sea venom or the uh, moon salt. So I've given them some moon salt, and that means I move up one level. And now this is actually a really funky little thing. You'll notice the, there are two pieces here. I move uh, them both up together, and so that means I've made it here. I unlock this ability that lets me make an outpost for free on an island I control. I don't control an island yet, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Now, I could keep on working my way up, but it's possible that things might happen that make me lose favor with them, in which case I break these up and I start falling back down. But this keeps track of the highest level I've ever reached, which is important for some considerations. So this is kind of a neat little thing. But anyway, I moved up one, and the only benefit I get is the ability to make an outpost. Uh, um, if I make it up here, I will have um, risen so much in the eyes of this faction, I'll start dropping in this faction. And they'll actually put a price on my head, a bounty that other players can collect if um, if uh, I'm out alone on the high seas. So i got to watch out for that. And then I can work my way up. I can actually get a letter of mark. I can um, fall further. I can get all these bonuses. And if I make it all the way to the top, I'll complete one of the achievements that is needed to come win the game. So anyway, so... I gave up my um, my uh, my uh, my prowess in battle to uh, engage in diplomatic maneuvers with the uh, United of Arya, which I'm pretty happy with the results there. But I am not done yet. I'm now sitting in port. I've got two cargo. Am I going to load that cargo up? Oh, by the way, I forgot. I've already moved one because I started out here in open sea and I spent one of them to get back. Um, well, see, here's the thing. If I don't load up, then I'm giving myself access to two sails in the future. Where am I going? See, what I'm planning on... I, uh, I don't know if I need to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to load back up. You never know when you might need some cargo in the open sea. And therefore, I've just taken my one of my sails offline. But that doesn't matter until next turn because I've already captured all the wind I'm going to get. Now, I am done at port. I'm going to set sail again. 
and come back over here, returning to Widow's Bridge. And, oh! Shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. And I was thought, at that point, I was going to use my influence and take over Widow's Bridge, and then I would control it, and then I would build an outpost for free on it. But no! Because my deckhand already gave me the wind, I can't do both of these. This is an or, it's not an and. Urgh. All right, so I'm done. I'm done. But I'm not done yet, folks. Now, things are going to get a little risky. Things are, I mean, we might have a fight sooner than late, sooner than I thought. I'm going to have my purse. I don't have to have my purse reactivate. Oh, I just, I, no, I shouldn't. I want to activate my purse right now because I could produce on this island anyway. The stuff will start building up, but I can't get it because I don't own it. I'm assuming on my next turn, I will get, I will be able to put the last bit of influence here so that I'll control the island. Then I can take what was generated. And in the meantime, I can protect it by going into pirate mode now. But there's just no reason to play the purser. I should wait. I'm going to wait on playing the purser. So I'm not using his ability. But before my turn is... All right, so I've used all my wind. I'm ending my turn here. I, I'm not using my purser ability. So I am declaring I am Dunsville. Uh, no more set. No more moving. No more... Uh, and yeah, and unfortunately... Now, I could... I, I can't engage in trade. They want three cargo, and I've only got two. So that's not good enough. I could attack them. But I've only got one cannon, and I do not like my chances. I would probably uh, get kicked to the curb pretty hard. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to interact with them. Um, and when I was here, I didn't have any cargo because I hadn't gone back home yet. But before... I, I, so I am done. I'm done with my action phase. Now, uh, right, nothing to refill because no advances were taken. I'm going to go into pirate mode. There is no way I'm letting... The Covenant come back here and put one more cube down so that uh, they can take control. I'm planning on taking control of this. And if they want it, they'll have to fight me for it. So I have set up defenses. And um, right, I don't have any unspent sales. I didn't get any advances this turn, so I got nothing to sleeve. I discard all cards in play. And I let's say I only played these three. I never actually played this one. I... I if I thought about this more, I would have said, hey, I'm playing these three. I'm keeping this in my hand. So those all got discarded. And now I'm drawing four. So next turn, I've got five cards. And there's a Buccaneer. Yeah, and there's my captain. And there's my crew. And there's more crew. Okay, so that is it. I am done. I am prepared to defend. I don't have any more cannons. I'm just sitting here. But hopefully my presence will scare the Covenant away. And they won't come here to try to take it. So... Let's see what they're up to. We're going on to round three. And so they say, hey, we want to head over to the east. They want to put an influence here, and there isn't one. So too bad, so sad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too bad, so sad, because I just totally cheated the covenant. In regular Dead Reckoning, yeah, sometimes they'll want to put an influence cube down, and they just can't. But when you're playing with Letter of the Mark, they've got a fallback. If they're ever in a situation where they are not able to put a cube down in a given zone, they instead will grab the explore tokens out of that zone. And they want these explore tokens just as bad as we do. So I apologize. I think I'm going to goof this up a couple of times, which is why, folks, you always watch with those Klingon subtitles turned on. This is a big game. I made a few goofs here and there, and Paulo will always set the record straight. Like, for instance, I'm also about to cheat the Covenant out of uh, putting one of their influence cubes down in the other spot they're going to go to. So um, turn on those Klingon subtitles, and remember, when you're playing with Letter of the Mark, um, you don't get those lucky breaks. The Covenant, they've, they'll snag those Explore Tokens before you can, if you're not careful. All right, let's get back to it. Then they say they'll come over here, thereby revealing a thing, and getting one step closer to completing that objective. All right, so this is another level two, so another level two card comes out. And uh, they have just done their second of five Explorers. All right. And that's where they end their turn. So they, they, I mean, it could have been a card that said, if it, if it, if we had been in round seven, this says, hey, we want to put two cubes over here, and they would have moved in, and they would have had to fight me to do it. We were only in round three. They get tougher as it goes on, as you might imagine. And there's nothing else they're going to do. So they just did some eastern um, exploring and all that. They're done. Phew. Okay, we can do it. So let's start out by playing my buccaneer, and um, using his power. I'll mark that it's done to get the third cube. And now, folks, this island is under my control, which means I get to mark 
this. This is a permanent. Once I've taken control of Island six times, or taken back control, because I might lose control and take it back, in which case I put another marker here. Once I've done it six times, I've completed an objective. Also, if this I, I can now use this island, I could explore and find out what this good is. I can make them produce. So hey, how about... Oh, no, no. I was about to have my person produce, but before I do that, remember... Because Avaria loves me so much, I'm going to call in that Famer from Avaria, and they're going to let me build an outpost for free right there. And now that has just up increased the production of this island even further. Now I will play the purser, pick one island, and produce. So I've done that. And, um, hey, how about this island? This island, which makes two coins... Two uh, cargo and one additional coin for being next to open sea. All righty. So, and we just put these all directly on the island. And nobody can pick these up except for me because I control this island. Boom. All right, right off the bat, I'm going to pick one of these up. And now on my ship, I have three cargo. And with three cargo, I am going to make friends with this merchant ship. Hooray! So I'll be able to put this as an upgrade on one of my crew at the end of the turn. Nice. Okay, and I've still got more cards. Still got more cards. Right, and what's most important, I got two open sails plus my captain. That means, let's set sail right now. I've got three wind at my back, folks. Woohoo! I can sail very far. And I've got two crew... Who I'm gonna go ahead and use them really quick. Uh, I'll just say they're all done, uh, just to make a couple more cargo back home for whenever I get back home. Remember, one of the objectives is get a total of 12 cargo on hand, give it away uh, to I guess to the crown or something like that, and that's an achievement as well. So I've used all my crew. They're all done. They're all exhausted. At the end of my turn, one of them is gonna get a tasty upgrade, and now I. Uh, can set sail. I've got three sail I can do. Before I set sail, I will go on ahead and uh, take this last bit of cargo, and I'll take the coins. Because if I'm leaving, and I'm not here to protect this zone, I don't want somebody else to come in and steal my coins. So I'm going to load this up. Remember, I can have up to four things here. So I've got two coins and a cargo. So I've lost a sail, but that's okay, because I already set sail. So now, um, there is nothing more I can do here. All my cards are done. So where am I going to go? For setting... Mm, one, two, three. Yes. I'm going to set sail back this way. Boop. I'm out of the open. And hey, this cargo I picked up from my new island, I'm going to use it to grab this advancement. So now, remember, you can, you can get up to two advancements on a turn. Nice. Okay. That was my first sail. And then my second, I'm going to sail down here. And now... I'm in pirate mode, but that does not mean a fight happens. A fight happens if um, some if I were here and somebody moved to where I was. You normally can't just start a fight whenever you want. You have to remember, these are huge spaces. The only way I could initiate a fight against him if I wanted to was if I had a card that had the Jolly Roger on it. And I don't think I have one of those at the beginning. I think I have to level up to get the Jolly Roger. Yes, my captain at level 2 gets the Jolly Roger. So if I had a level 2 captain, um, I could then use him, use his ability to seek out this ship and then attack. But this is just saying, if anybody comes for me, I'm ba this is basically, I'm blockading this island. But it's not going to stay like that for long. Because I'm going to use my last wind, because I want 1, 2, 3, I'm going to explore some new terrain as well. Uh, which means I'm starting to work on this objective. Nice, or this achievement. And I have found the Twin Islands, or the Twins as they're colloquially known. This is a level 3, so a level 3 encounter appears here. And I'm done. Alrighty. Cool. Alrighty. Cool, 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 cool. And, uh, yeah. Now... I am very far from home and from my cargo that's built up there. And from now on, because I'm carrying around these coins, I've only got um, one sail. So it's going to take me a long time to sail back home. And I'm a sitting duck. Somebody might want to come here and attack me to steal my coins. Um, and I'm not necessarily looking to protect this area. So I think it's time for me. <sighs> do I want to do this? I want to come over here because I want to get that. 
And then I went 2-3. I could have instead come back here and continued to protect this. But what are the chances he's going to go there? No, I came out here. I wanted to explore, but I'm going to take off my Jolly Roger because I don't need to protect this area. I'm just a, t a humble merchant, not looking for trouble. And we'll see what happens next turn. Um, I need two cargo. I don't have cargo. I have coins. Um, but there are uses for coins, too. We'll worry about that in a bit. Um, plus, remember, those coins are points. I ultimately want to get back and add them to my booty because uh, once I get up to 30, that's an achievement as well. So, uh, that's it, right? I've used all my crew. I've used all my wind. I don't have enough cargo to interact with this ship. I can't exert influence, so I am done. So, it is cleanup time. Refill. Two new level one advances come out. All right, that's just one from the regular game. And that is one from the regular game. Okay. And uh, I have to decide. I've, I've, taken, I've taken down the Jolly Roger. I'm not, um, I'm not in pirate mode anymore. I used all my sails. Okay, now, I don't have to sleeve these advancements. I could put them in any of these five cards, or I could wait. Let's see. Um, boy. Boy, howdy. See, now here's what I want to do. I want to put this in a card, and then I want to play this right away. Because this says, that, you know, getting in good with this merchant ship meant I can generate two cargo and put them directly on my ship. That means then I'd have the two cargo to make good with this instead of having to go all the way back to port and come all the way back out here. But I have to put this on now, and then I won't see that card until I've gone through the deck, which will be a while. Now, I don't have to. I could sleeve this in another card later on. I know this is the last card. I'm about to draw one of my crew. So I could, you know, install it in that. Or, uh, let's see here. Um, here's another thing, too. Well, no. My purser is great, because that means I can make this island produce, and it overproduces. But I've left this island completely unprotected. I need to build a garrison up there. Or a fort. I need to build a fort up there as fast as possible um, so that I can protect it. But to build forts and garrisons, I have to level up my first mate, who I have not gotten to yet. Oh, there's another way. Now, um, you know, if I continue to make friends with uh, Avaria, if I jump up here, I could build a garrison immediately so that I'd at least have some protection there. So that's kind of nice. If I can work my way up there. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So, this is a tough choice. Who gets the two upgrades? Or do I... I mean, I don't have to do both of them. I could save one of them for later. Well, you know, I don't want to put on the captain. Because the captain is the main character who benefits from um, uh, ship's wheels. Which you can kind of think is general purpose experience. Because remember, when the captain gets up to level 3 and 4, he'll be able to use that general experience to upgrade his combat abilities. None of the other basic characters um, actually have any use for general experience via the ship wheels, which means I have to find a an upgrade that says, hey, if I put an upgrade here that says it's worth one uh, ship's wheel, plus for every ship's wheel you have, make a coin, then you can start doing it. But I haven't seen any of those yet. So I'm going to leave my captain alone. I'm not going to upgrade him at all. You know what? Crew are so boring. Let's just go on ahead. Or you know what? Let's make a super crew. Let's make this crew super by putting both of them on there. And so when this card comes up, it's a good turn. They generate one cargo. They can explore one space where we're at. They can generate two cargo on the ship or on an island or back home. And they get in better with Avaria. So I am looking forward to playing this card. because This card can only be upgraded or can only get one more action. Although it can still, when it hits level two, it gets an upgrade as well. It can start generating two cargo back home. And um, it can uh, actually repair, you know, th this uh, crew can repair damage as well. Because sooner or later, there will be fights. So I'm just going to put both of them into that crew. And these were all discarded. And now I draw four. One. Let me shuffle them up a little bit. Two, three, four. All righty. Boom. And what else do we do during cleanup? 
We, uh, all right, we unsped sales, sleeved advances, discarded, and right. And so now, while it, while, our t while we're waiting for our opponents to go, we could be thinking about, do we want to upgrade this crew, this first mate, oh, which means I could start investing, um, this explorer who already has an upgrade, or the buccaneer, who means if I upgrade the buccaneer, I could be putting down two influence in one action. So that's going to be my hand for next turn. And I have no defense. I've got no cannons on me. But let's see what our buddy is going to do. Because we have now gone to round four. So we're jumping over here. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. No, it's not so bad. So they, first of all, they don't, they're not coming here to exert influence. They're just taking this advancement. And this is the first time they've taken an advancement, I think. So they can build these up. They don't actually slip them into sleeves of their cards or anything. It's just the more of these they have, um, if they are attack-based, the stronger they get in combat. If they are merchant-based like this one, occasionally they will get actions that say, hey, based on how... Like, actually, this is one right here. This basically says, hey, repair damage based on how many merchant cards you have, plus do an upgrade, plus do other stuff. But anyway, we're here. So they took this advancement. They keep it for themselves. It's gone. Um, and nothing else. And then they move over here. Oh man, they are exploring like nobody's business. I think that achievement's not going to work for me. And, um, right. So this is a level three. So we have to put out a level three advancement, which is just a normal one from the original game. And this is interesting. This is open C, but it only helps, um, that and that. Uh, -huh. so this one doesn't get richer. Because of the uh, trade routes of the open sea, don't ever make it over there. But, you know, these two become uh, better. So, what else do you want to do? You want to move... Oh, he... Oh, and too bad for him. There's... Uh, this is uh, one of the empty seas, so no cubes to put there. But he wants to do some other stuff. He says, hey, have I been damaged? If so, he'd attack. I haven't been damaged. Are, is there a bunch of stuff lying around on islands? Phew, there is not. If I had left my stuff on this island, then he would have said, oh, then I want to put two cubes on that island. And if he'd done it, he would have taken it over and I would have lost. Oh, man. So it's a good thing I didn't leave anything lying around because he would have grabbed it if he could. Then he says, hey, uh, on an island I control. He doesn't control any islands yet. I want to produce. And then I want to repair damage. So those things didn't really matter. So he was over pretty quick. And it's my turn again. I have not upgraded yet. So I've got to figure out which of these to upgrade. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. Right, I know I'm going to use my Explorer, and my Explorer is going to generate the goods I need to get in good with this, which gives me more opportunities to explore. I can only sail one space, but that's enough to make it out here to make a level four. Oh, oh, right. Okay, and okay, so my first mate is going to generate some stuff back home. But hey, oh, but I've got this one. This is. Add a good, not a face down one, but my choice. So I can give myself more moon salt, or which is cannons, um, or let's see. So I can get any of the three goods just right now. So that's why these are here. So I can get moon salt that will. Um, right, 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 right. Hold on a second. Right, I forgot. I I forgot that it's still random. I don't know what they're gonna do yet. So I'm going to be able to pick up... Uh, nope, I'm sorry, I don't know what they... Let me go and shuffle them back. I, I forgot that... Um, yeah, they're face down for a reason. Silly goose. So a pearl, a moon salt, and the uh, the eel. So I'm going to get one of those. What the heck? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just let's just play the first mate right now and um, get another cargo all the way back home. Boop. And get one of my choice. So I don't know what it's going to be. Let's go on ahead and get the Venom. Because I, if I make it back home, I could give this to either kingdom. So I could play both sides. So I'll take this and thereby reveal that it is um, it's you know, a Dragonfish Venom. This power says, hey... All right, so this is taking up another space. If I want to, I can use this and therefore lose it. And that lets me draw an extra card. So instead of drawing four, I could draw five at the end of the turn so that I could have an even stronger turn next time because I'm going through my deck faster. And in a deck builder, you generally want to go through your deck quick so you can get to all your upgrades faster. All righty, so that's what I got. And you're done, basically, right? That's pretty much it for the first mate. So I'm just going to turn it face down, Mark, that I've done it. All right, let's go ahead and use this crew and get another cargo back home. It's building up. And uh, let's go on ahead and use this Explorer right now and get two cargo on board. Oh, man. Okay, hold on a second. Before I do this, I'm going to set sail. Oh, now, here's the deal. 
I, if I set sail, I only have one flag. I, I, or, or, oh, whoa, 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 Before I do any of these things, I forgot. I didn't upgrade anything. Did I want to upgrade? That would have... No, I don't. I, I still don't think I would have upgraded you. Oh, I'm not done playing you yet. But no, I don't think I need... Um, upgrading the first mate, maybe. Yeah, I think... I think the first mate. So at the beginning of my turn, you know, or before the uh, end of the last player's turn, I'm gonna upgrade my first mate. Yeah, this is this is the thing to do. So they go to level two, and now that means, in addition to everything else, I can start building buildings. I can build forts, garrisons, and outposts. So you know what I'm gonna be doing, right? So let's start over again, right? So I use the the right. So I I use the. What have I done? Oh, wait a minute. Oh shoot. The level one first mate. That's very important to do things in order. Okay, so this level one first mate got upgraded. He never actually generated that back home. So, because he was a level two. So I hadn't done that. So, so far, I've just had... Okay, let's do this properly. This is why you do it properly. That generated one back home. Fine. Okay. The um, I, I'm, I'm playing my explorer. And I'm having my explorer give me two. And, I, and they're giving them to me out here, out at sea, where I am. Which means there's four here, and now that means I am completely overloaded. I cannot move at all. You know what? Hold on. Before we do that, then, before we do that, let's set sail. So when I had one flag, I set sail. Then I loaded those up. So there's four here, and three can go there. Fine. That's fine. All right. So now I'll still be able to move one, um, even though I'm overloaded now. So that's done. Let's go on ahead and do the other thing and move our way up. Which gives us a garrison. Let's go on ahead and install that garrison immediately for free. So my little uh, hometown is protected. If, it, if, if the bad guy, if the covenant attacks, they have two cannons. This counts as two cannons for defense. Okay. So, and then let's, let's finish. The last thing here is let's go on ahead and explore. Let's reveal what's out at sea here. Hey. It's more dragonfish, and I can use this anytime I want to give myself two coins on the ship, which will weigh me down, but coins are points. And it also says, hey, put another C1 back up here. So there's two to be explored up there now. Okay, so the merchant ship is done. I, I have done all three of those things. All righty, boom. Then let's go on ahead and let's play our first mate. And, um, right, so my first mate can also just give me a good of any type I want, but I'm getting way overloaded. But there's something else the first mate can do as well. First of all, the buccaneer, while we're here at buccaneer, one thing you can do, hey, start working on controlling this island. That's kind of nice. And then, hey, all this cargo I've got on board, how about we make, or see, ugh. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's just uh, uh, let's spend it and get this upgrade. So now I've got two, I've got one sale again anyway. All right. And I'm probably going to put this here because, oh my gosh, look at my first mate now. He can generate two of any good plus all of his building. That's going to be amazing. But the, I'm not done with the first mate yet because I also say to the first mate, hey, you can build stuff. Spend to build a fortress, spend four cargo, and the question mark means it can come from anywhere except, oh no, I've only got three cargo. No, the four cargo, I need, oh, I, oh no, oh shoot. Okay, hold on then. Then if I had not, <laughs> if I said, hey, first mate, Generate your thing and then make a all right. So take one of these and the three that are back home and build a fortress. And now Widow's Bridge has seven total defense and is overproducing. That is mine. I don't think I will ever lose this. And every time I have the bows in to develop, they, it, that, that is fantastic. That is going to be a big deal. Oh, by the way, I should have put a new thing out here. Um, right? Which was a oh, so you put this on somebody and that means you can attack um, unprovoked. Unprovoked attack against another player. So anyway, so the first mate has done the building. The first mate has done that. So the, so all my guys are done. So we're, we're done, done, done. I'm pretty much done with all of them. I don't have an upgrade for them. I do have one win. And so I have to ask myself, 
do I sail out further? There is still a chance that I could get this achievement. So I'll, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to set fortune favors the bold. We're sailing as far than anyone has ever sailed before. And we found Der Teufel. All righty. And that's a level four card. And it's uh, another new merchant ship. Copy the sailor ability on this needs three or could affect, could attack it. So here I am. All right. Um, and I am at the end of the line. I was hoping something would be here that just needed one, and I'd be able to use my last cargo and get it. But nope, needs three. Bad luck for me. Um, right. And so, I'm out of wind. I'm out of cards. I, uh, unless... Let's see. So, anyway. And actually, I'm really... I'm hurting for certain. Because, look at this, folks. I've got one, two, three, four... And then this. So, if I don't do something next turn, I will have no wind because I'm overloaded. So, that's not good. Not good at all. So, I believe at the end of my turn, I am going to use this, which means I now at least have one sale and I'm going to get to draw five cards instead of four. So, that's going to be pretty good. All right. And I've still got this. This is basically two coins, but it only takes up one space. Right? So, um, I'm discarding all of you. I'm drawing five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see, I need to refill, but I didn't take anything. And uh, I'm not going to go into pirate mode. That's fine. And right, so we're done. Our buddy says, hey, what am I going to do next? It's round five. So uh, they're going to do this. They're going to end up back home. But along the way, they are going to explore and reveal this. And put a level three out. Okay. Oh, by the way, I should have marked. Folks, if I watch Klingon subtitles turn on, I'm sure Paulo pointed out that I forgot to mark. Currently, we were tied, but he just pulled into the lead again. Because he has revealed... I revealed one of those, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yes, because I revealed... Yeah, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, and he's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no! Okay, I think I forgot to do one for him, so he's probably up at six now. If he reveals one more, that's it. I, I, I There won't be enough for me to reveal. All right, wait, wait, say lovey, say lovey, say lovey. Okay, so he, what was he doing? He jumped over there, and he said, hey, I'm putting down cubes, which is enough. It only needed three, so he just took control. He now has control of an island, uh, which means he can produce on this one in the future. All right, and, but then he went all the way back home. And then it says, if you would drop five cubes in battle, attack. He's not ready to attack. Otherwise, uh, get... Oh, right. Get a coin for every two merchant upgrades he's got. Now, this is weird. He's only gotten one merchant upgrade so far. If he had two, he would get a coin right now, doing some mercantile action. But he only had one. So that's it for him. He is done. And you know what round it is, by the way, folks, because it's the number of his cards. This was the fifth card. That's how I knew he was in the fifth round. Okay, so he is done. It's uh, uh, back up to me. I haven't upgraded yet, so what am I going to upgrade? Am I going to turn my crew into a level two so I can get to repairs? No. I, I pfft. Okay, I probably need to upgrade this deckhand so I get more. No, I'm going to upgrade this deckhand again. They saved me once. They're going to save me again because now... Um, whoops. No, I'm sorry. I just put him down, downgraded to one. I needed to flip it over and then upgrade to level three. So now I can exert influence or get two sales plus my one. I can actually start moving, moving, which means I could beat him. No, I can't with, with, so I've got one, two, three sales. I could have this and this, and then I can make it here, but I would not make it over there. I could almost do it. Oh my gosh. Did anybody else give me sales? Did I get the captain? No, I didn't get the captain. Oh, oh man. All right. Should I have upgraded some? No, I'm still happy with that upgrade. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, um, right. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I can generate some goods back home. I can explore. All right. I should set sail now because as soon as I explore, I'm going to have to fill this up. I have one less sail. So I'm setting sail now. That gives me three. One, two, three, because I put this into play. And so the deckhand is done. The deckhand can't do anything more because it was either exert influence or give me two sails. So I've got three sails. I will be able to either start working my way back home or um, keep exploring. 
and maybe keep hope alive. I probably am going to do that. All right, so what else we got? We've got a crew who says, hey, why don't... Oh, baby! Right, so why don't you, a crew member, right now, generate two goods on board? Boom, boom. Fortunately, I've set sales, so I'm not losing my sales. And work my way up even further, which now gives me this ability. And I'm going to use it right now, because this says, upgrade your ship for free. You don't have to have uh, upgraded your bosun to be able to do it. So this is the one. So I get this upgrade, and I believe this is the, yeah, this is this one. So I'm going to put this on, and now all of a sudden, it doesn't give me cans, it doesn't give me sales, but I can hold four things here. One, two, um, three, four. So now I can carry more stuff and still have a little bit of sale power. Nice. Thanks. Oh, whoops, by the way, I forgot. I... I should have, um, should I? Yes, I should have dropped in the eyes of uh, the other country, which means there is a bounty on my head that players can collect, and I have to work my way back up to get rid of that bounty. Or I have to, you know, get attacked successfully, in which case I lose that bounty. That happened over here. I forgot about that. I'm sure Paulo mentioned it at the time. So anyway, so I've moved up again. I've given myself stuff. I can explore. Let's just explore and see what we find right here. It is a black pearl, which will let me... All right, and so it says, hey, stuff up here is over here and over here, but there's nothing in those areas. I will, of course, take it. And this means I can produce once whenever I want or... Um, right, and so uh, once again, I'm getting loaded up. So, and then you also, hey, make uh, some stuff back home. Boom. All right, so that person is done. And I've still got three movement. And... All right, do I want to exert some influence? All right, I with the deck hand. So this is interesting. What I could do, I can ultimately say a one, two, three, reveal both of these, hopefully still be in the running for that if he doesn't get there first. And then I could exert influence over here and start working on taking uh, their cats and clown away, the cat claw away from my opponent. Interesting. I kind of like that. So let's go on ahead and play my gunner. Although, if I don't play my gunner this turn, then it'll be in my hand, and I could have him be the upgrade, which will give me two cannons. Hmm. Interesting. What to do? All right. I'm, all right, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm definitely going to sail, 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 and exert influence there. So let's not worry about either of these just yet. Let's play this. All right, so he's ready to exert influence. And now let's start sailing. I will sail once, thereby revealing this. Open sea. All right. And it's a level four, a level four card. There we go. Which needs two gain. Oh. Gain on your ship the uh, production value of all four row islands that you sail through and do not stop this turn. So that's pretty cool. All right, this produces two coins. So if I have this, if on a turn I have somebody in my hand who has this, and I can do a big sale, I could generate two coins and whatever here is. That's cool. I don't know. That's a bit iffy. I think I'm not going to take it. All right, so I'm going to sail again and come over here, and let's see what we find. Oh, and by the way, I have just revealed two more, so I'm in the running for this. Another level four comes out, and... Ooh. So that does nothing for me, except at the end of the game, I will get a point, an extra point, for every island that I control where there are no... Uh, or I'm sorry, where... where um, oh, I'm sorry, where I don't control because I have no cubes. I will get a point for every island that I left alone. That's interesting. If I just put, I put all my eggs here and then I never try to control another island, if I've, although I've got one cube there, but so far, I mean, this could be a lot of points at the end of the game. This costs four. I have only three. I can't buy it. It doesn't matter. Ah, I've got one, two, three. Right. Um, fine, fine, fine. So, uh, and then I've got one more wind. Let's come over here. Okay. And, all right, so deckhand, you're up. And so, now I haven't taken control yet. Um, but the next time I put a cube on this island, I would kick one of his off and move it on, and then I would get control of the island. It would be mine to produce with as uh, as well. 
Okay. Oops, by the way, I've been forgetting, folks. Another thing I've been forgetting. Every time an island showed up, there should have been a thing in the ocean and on the island. So all of these have stuff on the islands that I forgot to place. And I'm sure, again, Paulo mocked me viciously, but good-heartedly. So there's a lot of explorers out there to do. Um, although, again, to you can explore these, but you can't pick them up unless you control the island. All right, so I've made it. Next turn, I have just one sail, which would let me do that and actually complete that objective ahead of him, provided he doesn't go there. All right, so I I've done everything the deckhand can do. So I've done all these, and I've still got two cards. <sighs> um... I'll go on ahead and just play the crew right now and get some more cargo back home. But I'm going to hold on to the gunner because I might upgrade him next turn to give myself a second. So that was it. All done. This stays in hand. Um, and you know what? I will go on ahead uh, and because I'm, I'm in a better situation than him in terms of combat. If he comes here, I want to fight him because I've, I've got this plus my one cannon. So I'd be ready to go. Right, and if and if I if it doesn't go well for me, I can re, I can uh, heal myself with that too. So let's go on ahead and say this is full. One, two, three things, and that's full. Uh, and then I've still got one sail. So I'm saving my gunner. Right, I'm putting myself in pirate mode. I didn't actually uh, get any of these, interestingly. Although, oh, you know what? Hold on. This merchant only needs three. Interesting. And this is the first time where, if I put this on somebody, they do. Um, if they have more of the steering wheels, the more general experience, they can do better. This is going up with the other faction. But you have to give them, um, what do you call it? And this is at the end of the game, right? Yeah, because the purple means at the end of the game. This is a new one. That is interesting. I could give up my three and get that merchant ship and put it on one of those cards. I'll leave it be, though. I'll leave it be. All right. So I'm done. I'm in pirate mode. I'm drawing four. One, two, three, four. And um, so I've got two, both of my gunners, although I'll be able to upgrade one of them. And I am done. So we go on to round six. He's going to stay at port, or he's going to end up at port. He is going to put another cube over here, which he started on. Oh, he's, oh no, no, he's not going to put a cube there. He is going to take this. He now has two merchant upgrades. All right, so he's going to take that, and oh my gosh, look at that. He is going to put, uh, he's going to take over this island. Um, he's going to put four. He only needed to put three. So that's that, and then he went home. But he's not done yet. If he would have done, now he has not upgraded. He can't do much in the way of good, strong fighting yet. Um, but he can produce, because he owns two islands now. So he owns uh, this one and this one, and he wants to produce in the one that has the, uh, the most stuff. And he can still produce here. You can't pick up. I mean, Margo won't stop him from producing. So this one produces two coins plus another coin because it's next to open um, water. This one produces a coin and a barrel plus another coin. So they both produce three. So they're tied. In the case of a tiebreaker, he'll go for the one that produces more barrels. So he's going to get two coins, which is two points. And he doesn't, I mean, when I produce stuff, I've got to put it on my island. Then I've got to go pick it up. Then I've got to go take it home. He just automatically gets it. So he gets two coins and a second barrel. And once he has three cargo, he always immediately turns those into a coin as well. So that was it. He actually successfully produced. Good job. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Again, folks, so much going on. When I hit this spot, I got to have a letter of the mark. And I think it's pretty obvious which one I want. I want that one. Because if I had this letter of the mark, and I did, I forgot to take it, I can, t I can uh, once per turn move coins back home. I guess uh, you know one of their ships helps me out and gets it going. Nice. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. So now I'm less loaded down, although I am still. If I were to trash one of these, I could get two sails. And hey, this is the one that gives me two coins on the ship. So I can use that, and I can use the mark to send it right home immediately. Yes. And then I'm back up to full speed ahead. Nice. Okay, so that was it for them. Uh, it is my turn. Which means, I did it. They didn't come here. I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off. So, first of all, let's go on ahead and use this to make two coins. And that's gone. But then use the letter of mark to immediately send them back home. And then set sail with both sails open because I've got all that space there. And my captain is here, so I've actually got three sails. Thanks, captain. Oh, wait, but before I do, who am I going to upgrade? I think 
it is time to upgrade a gunner so I can have two guns. So I will have upgraded this gunner. All right, so he went from level one to level two. So now, if I want to get in a fight, I'm a bit more prepared uh, because I've got a, a cannon and a cannon. Okay. Cool. So I am going to set, set or, or so can I do any more influence? No, I can't. Let's go on ahead and just get the purser done. First thing, doing the purser, producing back here, which is one, two coins. No, one, two, three coins. Actually, we can just use a three. One, two, because that upgrade plus that three. And one, two cargo. Just sitting there waiting for somebody to take it. Although, they'd have to fight me for it. Okay. So, that's it for the purser. Thanks, buddy. Um, and let's see. Bozen, go on ahead and just uh, get another... Uh, thing back home. Uh, same for this gunner. Or actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll save the gunner so I can upgrade him too. Uh, Captain gave me the win, so he's done. Right. Let's now gonna spend one win and see what we find over here. And just like that, I've done it. Boom. I've completed the first objective of the game. All right, woo! -hoo! And that is worth five points to me, and it's impossible for him to do it. All right, and it's open C, okay? And it's a level two card that shows up here. And four cargo. I have three cargo, so I cannot. You know, what, folks, you've been very mm, hold. Mm. Oh, he's not C. If he were at C right now, if he weren't hiding back at port, I would come for him. Except I can't. Because I don't, I, I mean, I, I, I can't attack him. But I can. Uh, no, that's not something I can attack. I could attack them. Folks, you've been so patient. And, I mean, just attacking successfully, it gives me uh, a award too. So, I am, we'll see. First of all, okay, I, have four, I can't do that. I'm going to spend one. I'm going to sail here. And so this is such a jerk move. All I got to do is give them one cargo, and they'll join me. But I say no. I'm not going to give you cargo. Um... I'm a pirate, and so we are going to attack. And so that means, instead of just giving him one of the cargo and getting another very cool power, we attack. He has three cubes. I have two cubes. Slight advantage to the merchant ship. So we take three black cubes, representing them. We take two green cubes, representing me. All right, so I'm using the cannon right now for the gunner. And then plus that, so I, that's my two. He has three. And then we drop them in the uh, the ship. And we hope for the best. Okay. There we go. Now, um, this is kind of blocking because you can't quite lift up. So I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can see. Basically, what happened now is we count victories. And oh my gosh, it's a tie. I've got a cube here. That's one victory point. That's one victory point. He got a cube there. That's two. So we tied. But in the case of a tie, the break goes to the attacker. So I won. Now, if he were a if I were attacking a player right now, these two cubes landed here, that player would also get um, two coins and two barrels. But the merchant ships, they don't care about. They don't gather more stuff. So, and you know, it could have gone a bunch of different ways. Let's just, I mean, so I won. Even though I was outgunned, it worked out my way. But let's just see a uh, different resolution. How might things have gone differently by just, again, dropping them the same way. And then, in this case, ooh, this is on the edge, so it comes in here. He has two victory points to my one. We, um, and But I did one point of damage to him, which isn't good enough because I need the victory, not the damage. And he would have gotten some more stuff. So... I'm very happy with the first results, where I won, because it was this and this and this and that. So, we are the winner, folks. Combat is just that simple. If one of these lands, so it's truly not in either, because it's like right on the edge, you drop them again. There are, a, oh, and if something, if somebody lands, where is it? Uh, here, this is explosive. What this means is you take that cube and you take another one and you drop them. So if you keep landing in this spot, you can um, like you know just kind of build up more and more stuff. And if you land in these, you do damage. 
uh, because damage is an ongoing thing that you have to repair on your ships. But merchant ships don't take damage, so I didn't get any benefit from that. But where are you, merchant? Since I beat you, if I'd lost, I would have taken two damage, plus maybe more damage. I would have lost standing with the uh, country, um, and uh, you know that this ship meant for that. And I, but I would have gotten to level up one of my cards. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you get in combat and with a merchant and you lose, you always get a little something. You get to level up one of your crew. They at least got some experience from the fight. But I won, so I'm going to go up for the first time with the other country. And I'm going to get this as an advance that I could put in one of these characters. So we're moving up here, which means I no longer have a bounty on me. Okay, cool. Because I took out a ship from the other country. They are happy with it, right? Um, yeah, it's, it's gained with them. So I took out one of their ships, who I'm really good with, but just don't tell them I did it. So they're now happy. I no longer have a bounty on my head. And instead of getting this upgrade, which would have been generating cargo and getting good and good with them, it is generate influence and, and explore. So that's going to be something I get to put in at the end of my turn. And I think that is the end of my turn, right? Because I was here, I had one, two, and I fought somebody. Um, so I'm going to install this. So the last thing I've got this gunner, I'm not going to play him so I can upgrade him next turn. And so now at the end of my turn, who am I going to give this upgrade to? Uh, let's see. How about, I'm not, I'm, you know, how about the purser? Why not? All right. So I go on ahead and I slip this in. And now the purser produces on this island and lets me exert influence or explore wherever I am. The purser is my buddy. All right, so I played all of them. I'm not playing this, so I can potentially upgrade it. At the end of my turn, I'm drawn four. Just gotta shuffle again. Oh, and because I won a fight, I've now, if I win three more fights, I complete that objective as the Terror of the Seas. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. One, two, three, four. And hey, you know what? Before my turn was over, I went on ahead and I used this to produce on this island again. Just so I'm not carrying stuff around, it's not weighing me down so much. And I've got more stuff just waiting to be picked up and taken back home. Um, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more, and I'll be able to complete this objective, the merchant objective, too. So, woohoo! That looks pretty good for me. All right, so these are my new cards. I have to refill this level two space. And I decide if I'm going to stay in pirate mode or not. I will. I'm feeling pretty good. If he wants to come for me, come at me. I'm going to stay in pirate mode. I mean, I'm not even particularly protecting this. I'm kind of hoping he lands here and we end up having a fight. Um, because if I can sink him... Now, I wouldn't sink him after one fight because you have to do a lot of damage. I think it's five total damage has to be done before they sink. So you generally, if you end up taking damage in a fight, you get a chance to repair yourself afterwards before the next fight. Um, but anyway, so that worked out pretty well. I was very, very happy with that. So let's see. We're on to round seven now. So he's going to stay home. He's not going anything out in the world, but hey, he is, uh, he effectively leveled up one of his crew to level four. I've only leveled up a few crew to level two. He must have like focused on one crewman to get all the way up to level four. And he attacks me. Oh, okay. Get what you asked for. He attacks me right now. Um, and he gets plus one for this battle. Please tell me. All right. Well, that means before the fight goes on, I will um, upgrade. I could upgrade the gunner I was saving, but I got my already upgrade gunner. Let's have my level two a gunner go to level three and give me an ability. So surprise! You thought you were coming for me? I can put this in play now. I'll still be able to use it on my next turn, but this gunner will protect me from any player who wants to fight me. And specifically, um, I get to, it's another cannon, plus I get two extra cubes to drop. So you picked a bad time to attack me, pal. He gets plus one, I get plus two. So um, now he has not gotten any ship upgrade. He's gotten two merchant upgrades, but he hasn't gotten any attack upgrades. So this is ill-advised. But he thought, hey, I probably didn't have any... I probably had one cannon, he was going to have two. It made sense. He thought it was a good time to do it. Little did he know, I had the upgraded gunner. So I get four because of my... Uh, or, or actually, although, this is a battle ability. The battle ability happens after the initial attack. So at the beginning, we're each just dropping two. Let's get rid of the uh, remains of this other fight. 
Now, boy, howdy, if he'd wanted to attack me when I was here, if I were on my own home turf where I've got buildings, I would get an additional cannon for every one of them um, that I was defending with. But as it is, it's uh, two to two. He got his plus. I've got one plus one. But then after we're done, I'll use my battle ability and drop two more. All righty. And, oh, uh, this one fell in here. Those fell in there. He's got two victory. I've got no victory. But here's where then I call upon my level three gunner and say, dude, save us. Okay. Uh, gave me two. And this one fell in over here. Wow. Okay. It's two to two. And remember, folks, the aggressor wins. So, bad news for our team. I just lost the fight. But don't feel too bad for me. Because, hey, uh, before we resolve the fight, we get all the bennies. All the bonuses. Starting with, if we look right here, I get one cargo on my ship. So I've got room for it. And then um, I get either, you know, two, uh, another cargo, or co two co coins, two cargo, or one and one. Let's just go ahead and get coins. Coins or points. Let's take a couple of coins. All right, so I got those as well. Right? And then that was it for me. I have two. He has two. The aggressor wins. Although, actually, in the solo mode, ties always break in his favor. So, anyway, he just got one successful fight. And here's the penalty for losing a fight. I take one damage. That's it. No big deal. Now, I'm going to need to repair this, and I've got ways to do it. If I ever take five damage, then my ship sinks, and the player who did, who delivered the killing blow, can steal some of my money, um, but not my cargo. I end up keeping my cargo. I end up coming back here, uh, getting rebuilt, all the rest of it. But anyway, so he, got, he took a quick shot, and he won. So we're tied one-to-one -one on this. Um, but hey, I got some more stuff, and he didn't take anything, and so now I've got one of the five damage. I'll need, I, I now need to repair some damage, which is fine. And that was it for him, right? Yeah, he leveled up, and then he attacked with plus one, and he didn't do anything out in the world. So basically, you can imagine what he did is, he very quickly sailed out here, attacked me, and then very quickly sailed back home. And um, yay, it got him the achievement, and now I have a little bit of damage I have to worry about. But still, in the grand scheme of things... Not too bad. And so my gunner still is in effect, and now I got one, two, three, four, five cards, and I need to decide what to do. Um, I do want to come in here and pick all this stuff up. Uh, you know, oh, this is it, folks. I just need two more goods. Plus, if I once I have these, you know, actually, yeah, I could do it since this is my island. If I just play these right now, get two more goods: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, you know, twelve. Then, I mean, the, 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 you know, um, this objective, the stuff can come from anywhere. So I can complete that and have finished my second objective. Uh, second of four or five. I'm also working my way up here to get one. I'm working on that. And although, remember, I do still want to sink him. Now I really want to sink him to take revenge. But I have to do a lot of damage to him over time. So that might take a while to uh, get this. But also, I want to get those 30 coins on hand so that that uh, objective is worth more points to me, too. So what am I going to do next? I'm not quite sure, folks, but I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of both Dead Reckoning gameplay and what's new in Letters of the Mark. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.